Hi there, thanks for joining me. I'm making this video to talk a little bit about my experience. It's this thing here. So, it was about a week or so ago where my family kind of started showing a lot of the symptoms and um, I'm gonna be a little bit vague on here just because. So you might see some uh, phrases pop up and, and as I share my experience, the reason I'm doing this is because um, you can't find this information anywhere and there's a lot of things happening now, I think as everything starts mutating that, and when I say mutating, I mean this, you know, thing that started a couple years ago, it just started to uh, now give different kind of symptoms, but it's kind of, you're battling, in my opinion, something that's man-made. So it's very difficult to just consider it a basic cold or flu. And therefore, gives us the reason to make sure that we get prepared. First step is getting yourself one of these. These are a testers. This is how I know when we're definitely testing for it. You see that double line, uh, whether it appears within the first two minutes or the last 15 minutes, that means you're a positive. And then you're in the clear when you just get this. And that's a single one. So very easy to do. So I'll share a very quick way. As soon as you know that is happening, is I call it a iodine flush for your nose. It's kind of like just to show you the color is the reason I have it here and I haven't washed it yet. Um, this is basically either distilled water or some bottled water. So like, I don't really measure, but I'll put the instructions, basically use that much water maybe to what this would be, probably like 12 to 15 drops. This is very potent. It helps prevent infection, kills germs, and it's an antiseptic, but when you use it in a rinse form, through the nostril, that's where this starts. Basically, at least people that get the normal infection through the air, it hangs out in your nose. And that's that's where it lives for a while, if I remember, before it goes further. So the more that you can kill, and what you're trying to kill is that replication of the you know, symptoms to spread into other things, and you're you're killing that immediately and you could you could feel the relief when you do this so I'll share this is very important to start right away with this rinse and you're going to want to do it at least three times a day but it will definitely clear your sinuses if that's what you're having and as you keep doing it you'll feel better and better some people do it even if they start to feel some kind of symptoms they'll start using this this rinse um, to be proactive of killing anything that's hanging up in your nose, which is kind of disgusting. But the reason I share this first is because it's the very first thing you want to do when you find out you're having these symptoms. Um, once you start feeling, now the symptoms that I've seen that have gotten kind of weird and shared through my family are headaches, like horrible, horrible headaches. And, um, uh, Lost of taste, loss of smell, um, maybe some ringing in the ear, and you might have some upset stomach. Um, you know, it, it does get in the, the fact that it's replicating and it's doing all this harm. That's when you need to be careful. And, to, you know, what I'm going to share here, of course, I'm going to be very vague on it and, show, and share a link where you could buy the stuff. I will share. Uh, my experience, because it is my experience, and that stuff um, has worked miraculous for me. Very important to, you know, there's some medication that is not um, mentioned, so I'm trying to put it through here. Those are very important to have. 
However, you can find other things through Amazon or the internet. This is one it's called Cortison. This with zinc helps stop the replication of this. And again, that's exactly what you're trying to do is, you know, allow for your body to fight it by stopping the replication. So zinc and quercetin. Another one that's really good is called selenium. Um, and then this one, I, I have a video on this. This is called Immunity, immunity uh, which has vitamin C, zinc, vitamin D3, garlic bulb, elderberry, and echinacea. All in one. I take two of these, one uh, selenium, one quercetin, and one zinc every single day. And then I get into the things that you could find through a prescription. And those two are always in my medicine cabinet. I will share an incredible bundle, which I'll show just a little here, that you should have in case you can't get it. And this is through um, a website that you could find, and I'll share a coupon code for it too. But basically what you're getting is those two medicines that I told you about. I'm not going to mention. Plenty of that to stock with a nebulizer. And that is um, a nebulizer with budesonide. So you get some of that. Now, I did stock up on that in this kind of form, budesonide. So you can really very small very small bottle add so you could spray some of that you could take some of the medication that I shared um, and you know it heals it stops the replication thing we need and we just have to be prepared we just have to be nowadays totally prepared so this bundle here did I miss anything uh, this bundle comes with the nebulizer, the two medications, um, a Z pack, uh, and a little finger pulse. It's important to to take your pulse and make sure you're good, and also get a thermometer. Um, I do use this with some of this. These are really excellent. I'm Spanish, so Vix is like my my to go thing when I can't really uh, when I have a bad congestion stuff like that so um, one thing I did research on the loss of taste buds and stuff like that it is because of inflammation happening in your body it's really weird again those kind of symptoms to me are not normal and they probably happen because again we're not dealing with something natural so that's my opinion you can have yours one uh, thing I do share here want to share here is apple cider vinegar little shots I don't know if you've seen in the store they're it's like ginger and they've got probiotics and stuff I mean that's good but that helps with inflammation and some of them have turmeric in them um, it's going to help you gain your um, taste of taste buds again uh, but this really helps in the morning on an empty stomach it's gross but yeah so I really wanted to share that because the most important stuff in this video is in the description and I highly recommend everything that I've shared and go ahead and prepare and stay safe thanks for watching